Hi guys and welcome back to today's video. Today I am filming a get ready with me for this look. Me and Ian are going to a little like dinner theater thing tonight. So thought I would take you guys along for the get ready with me process. So we are going to go ahead and jump on into it. So we are going to start with the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Primer. I have a sample of this and I'm just trying to use it up. So that is why we were using it today. I actually really like it. That's all that was in the bottle. So that worked out perfect. We're going to put that everywhere. Now I can throw this little thing away. I have two different foundations. I have, they're both Fenty Beauty, the, the Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. I have one in 320 and 280 because I don't really know what shade I am. So I was just kind of going to mix them together and see what little concoction I can come up with. And I just have this little beauty sponge. I wonder what it would look like to mix the colors. I really need to go to a Sephora and get like color match because I do not match them. We're just gonna mix them and make it work. Them combined isn't too awful. Well, I don't know how I feel about this color. It looks crazy on camera. It looks all right in person. So we're just going to keep going with it. But we are going to be using this Clinique Even Better Concealer. I'm the shade CN40. This is my favorite concealer ever. It's so good. And I just put it under my eyes because we have those lovely dark circles. A little line down the nose. Up here on the forehead and over my lovely breakouts. We're going to take this beauty blender and blend it all in. Alright, now that that is all blended in, kind of, we are going to take the Airspun Loose Face Powder. I'm going to take a little bit with the makeup sponge and just put that under my eyes because I do have to put a little bit more under there because I get lovely creases really bad. With the rest of my face, we are going to take a JH02 and just put that everywhere because I have super oily skin. And this helps me stay matte for a little bit longer. And for brows, we are going to be using this little um, set from Charlotte Tilbury I got. I need to make a TikTok for this, so I'm not going to do these on camera, I think. I'm just going to set a time lapse and let you guys watch me do my brows, but I need to film a TikTok for this. So we are going to be using the Brow Cheat, Brow Lift, and then these are two different brow gels. This one's tinted and this one's clear. All of this is in the shade taupe. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and film that and I will set you guys on a little time lapse that you can watch. We are back and have some eyebrows. So I'm going to go back with the JH02 and just... Get that out from under my eyes and my brightness is set too high. Oh. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face. So I am gonna be using my mini Hula Benefit bronzer. As you guys know, this is my favorite ever. We are just gonna bronze my face. We're gonna take a little bit on the nose and up around the forehead. And as you can see, I've officially, actually a long time ago, I just didn't show you guys, but I hit pan on this and I'm really sad, but I'm definitely going to buy the full size. I bought the mini and just to see if I would like it. And I absolutely love it. For blush, we are going to be using my billion dollar beauty blush. This is in the shade romance and I absolutely love it. It is like the perfect amount of pigment. It's not too pink, but 
still adds some pink to my face and I love it. Put a little bit on my nose and I put a little bit on my forehead as well. And for highlighter, I'm using this little IBY highlighter. This is in the shade Prosecco. I think that's how you say it. I really don't know. I'll put that here. A little bit on my nose. And again, up on the forehead. And that is the face makeup. For eyeshadow, I'm using my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. Obviously, I use this thing all the time. I'm going to start with a JH33. We are going to begin with this shade right here. It is almost completely empty. I really need to get another one of these palettes. And I am just going to blend that all in my crease and blend it all the way up to my brows. Next, we are going to take this shade right here and basically put that in the same place we put the first shade. Next, we are going to, still using that same 33, we are going to go into this shade right here. And we are going to do this on the outer um, half of the lid. Just blend that in with the other two shades. Now we are going to be starting with a JH40. And we are going to dip into this dark brown shade right here. We are going to put that on the outer crease. And blend it a little bit in but not too much and then we are gonna take the 33 and go back with that shade we had just used before this first shade just to blend that out a little bit more now we are gonna take a JH 41 we're gonna go in with this shimmer shade over here and I'm gonna put that on the inner half of my lid and then blend it out with that 33 then we are gonna take a JH 39 which is just the teeny tiny little brush again with this shade and we are gonna add that below my waterline And then lastly, we are going to take a JH42 and go in again with that IBY highlighter. And we are just going to add that to my inner corners and up on my brow bone. And that is the eyeshadow we are doing today. Next, we are going to go in with lashes. I'm going to use these, the Cream Shop Bougie Lashes. I got these at TJ Maxx for $5 and they are so pretty. Literally, look at these. I'm obsessed with them. I always get a lot of compliments when I wear them, and they were literally $5. I think I do need to trim them, though. I think they're a little too um, big for my eyeballs. We are going to trim these lashes. We're going to use this Kiss Lash Glue Liner. This stuff is freaking awesome. So easy to apply. Um, I accidentally put it on top of eyeliner, so it's got a little bit of black on it, but that's all right. If you struggle with, like, lash glue and sticking lashes on, I recommend getting this liner because it makes it seriously so easy. And then I have these little like lash tweezers. So easy to put lashes on with. So we are just gonna pop these bad boys on real quick. They look crazy on camera. We are gonna start with the second eye. All right, lashes are on and I realized I forgot setting spray. So we are gonna be using this Ciate London Watermelon Burst Setting Spray. We are going to add a little bit of mascara. I have this Too Faced Better Than Sex little travel guy. We're going to put a little bit on those top lashes just to help them blend with the falsies a little bit better. So we are going to apply lips. I'm going to be applying this Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Bombshell. Absolutely love this lipstick. It is so good. It's just the perfect pink nude lipstick. I absolutely love it. Then I'm just going to apply the Tinted Brow Gel from Charlotte Tilbury, but I need to film it, so... 
So this is the finished makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair and change my outfit. I think I'm gonna try out wearing my halo extensions today. I have the um I believe these are 22 inch extensions. They might they're the longest ones that they make, so whatever that is. I'm gonna go ahead and try to wear these. We'll see how good they match my hair, and then I will change put on my jewelry and everything and show you guys the finished look and here we go i curled my hair my extensions are making me extremely angry and we're not going to talk about it but it is what it is this dress is from peach pistol boutique if they still sell it i will link it down below but i do not think they do thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed if you liked it please give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below and subscribe and i will see you guys tomorrow